Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity Roguelike tutorial. In this one I'm going to be teaching you how to set up character movement animation. So in the last video we simply set up, let me just press play, sorry. Uh, we set up the sprite sheet for idols so like we can, you know, change the direction of characters in. And I left you with the task of basically finishing the uh, state tree for the animator to make it so that we can go between the different animations when we, you know, press the different buttons. It looks a bit silly without having um, any walking yet. Now, um, as you see, the uh, when I press left and right, well, actually, it's hard to tell because uh, this it's moved slightly, but um, the movement seems a little bit jumpy when you go, for example, um, I don't know, it's probably just uh, me imagining it, but it seems a little bit jumpy. I'll see what happens when I've added the walking animation. That's probably why it seems a bit stupid, but um, it might also to be to do with when you um, set up your sprite sheet, and you go on to sprite editor you have a center of a sprite and I feel like I've set it up right the custom pivot is always like in the center so that should be right but anyway um, we'll see it makes more sense when we're doing the animation for running um, if once I've done this video and we've set up the animations if they're not fluid like li fluidly linked up I'll then for the next video like basically smoothing it out and uh, make it so that it seamlessly transitions between them but obviously I'm using like a pre-made sprite sheet so it might not be uh, perfect to do all that but hey we'll see so first of all we need to take our sprite sheets for the running animations so the walking animations even whatever um, I did not not mean to open them okay so you've got them down here imported and last time we just made an animation off the first sprite but we're going to um, make the whole animation. So what we need to do is we need to basically select them all and right click create animation and we'll call it uh, walk left. Is this, no this is down. Uh, walk down. What did, what did I name the other ones? Idle left. Yeah, yeah okay. Walk down. Then here we've got um, walk left. Create animation walk right and then walk up and let's go move these into our animation folder okay so over here we've got our other animations and we will put these on loop as well because they can loop uh, so let's just put them on loop now basically the way we've set up this uh, tree here is for obviously the idle states depending on which way we're facing what we can do is if you if you look up here we've got layers of animations on this one controller and we're going to call this idle because this is what it is it's just for sorting out idles and it's got if you see on here properties so we have like a weight and blending now what we're going to do is we're going to keep this way as one we're going to create a new layer and we're going to call it a walking and this weight will be by default zero let's say and what we're going to do is we're going to basically take all this and we're going to go and put it here. Um, that's exactly the same basically. Now if I press play, uh, let's just move the animator when, when it starts. Okay, so if you see an idle now, it's doing all of the animations which we see here. And if I go down to the walking layer, as you see, it is still doing it, but it's um, the weight on here, because idle has a higher weight than walking, it's going to only do the idle layer, not the walking. So what we basically want to do is we want to set up the same animation on the walking layer, but make it so that this layer has a higher priority one, when we're actually moving, so that it animates walking. And then when we stop, it sets the weight back so that idle is higher, and we just have it as an idle animation. So... What we're going to do is, I'm going to put this back up here because it's easier to see. Um, we want to take these, um, not nodes, but they're basically the animations themselves, which ones to run. We're going to take them and we're going to change them. So the name technically could stay the same, but it's also good practice to rename things. So walk Because obviously we're going to use the same logic and transitions for the walking and the idle. So there's no need to remake it all. Saves you a lot of time. Um, but if you see on here, these like, node things. The name doesn't actually matter. It's what's in here, the motion. Which is 
the actual animation it uses. So we're going to basically replace these from idle to walking. So if I take walk up and put it on here, and walk right and put it on here, down and put it on here, and left and put it on here. So now the animations on this layer are actually the um, walking ones. But as I said, like we were not going to see any walk animation because it's still um, using the other layer. Now, obviously, I'll put this down here again. Now, what happens if, well, I know what happens, but if we turn this down, okay, I don't know if we can do that right now. Um, there we go. So now, this layer is actually on the same, uh, actually, this, this actually transitions smoother than I thought it would. Uh, the animation's a little bit fast. Obviously, I haven't made it so that um, it changes when we stop. But, as you see, as we move around, it switches the animations just like it would for idle. But, because this one's got the same, as soon as this goes down, it should technically go back to idle. Or is it only when it's... Oh, wait, idle by default is on 1. And this... Okay, that makes sense. Kinda. So if it's over halfway, then it prioritizes this one. Because you can't actually change the value of the top layer. But anyway, we're going to make it so that in code, it changes which uh, the weight of this depending on if we're moving or not. So if we go and open up the movement code, which I've already opened. But yeah. What we can do is we already have reference to the animator. So we want to set the weight of this walking layer to 1 when we're moving and 0 when we're not. So what we're going to do is, let's see how we do this. Um, so in our move function, which gets called every frame, we call the thing to animate the movement. What we can do is we can say we only want to do this if um, we only want to do it if we're actually moving, right? So before we call the set animator movement, we want to check well are we moving. So uh, if direction. Well, it's a vector two, so we have to check the x and the y. So if a vector, if the x is, well, not zero, or the or the y is not zero, because if it's great, we can't just do greater than or less than, because um, if it's greater than, and we do it, what if it's like we can have negative movement in this? Keep in mind, which is backwards. So we want to just make sure, if if they're both zero, then or if one of them's zero, sorry. Well, yeah. So if this or this isn't zero so if we are moving in some way whatsoever we'll then do the movement so whoops i just lost that uh so now we only animate movement if we're moving makes sense um but then what if we're not moving well we want to go to the animator and we can do weight uh, layer, wait, yeah, uh, not set, it's set, not get. So I want to set the layer weight, and it takes uh, <laughs> layer weight, and it takes in the layer index and a float for the weight. So the layer index basically means the top layer is layer zero, the next one's layer one, two, three, four, five, going down. So we want to set layer one, so we'll put one, and we want to set an actual weight, which is well, this is if we're not moving, so it's going to be zero. But then if we are moving down here, because this only gets called if we are moving, we'll set um, animator.setLayerWeight1, one, one, which means we're going to prioritize the walking if we're walking, which makes sense. Let's have a look how this works when, once this is loaded. There you go. So now, as you see down, uh, I just pointed at my screen. <laughs> down here, as you see, when we're walking, it turns on the walking layer. Well, it doesn't turn it on, it prioritizes it. And when we're not, it you know, doesn't. Now, it might look a bit jumpy. I know that's literally just because in the inspector, it's a bit laggy sometimes. Um, if we exploited the game, it would run fine. But yeah, as you see, when I'm walking and when I stop, it works just fine. Um, so now we actually have a way for our character to run around and it actually looks good and when we stop it stops with him 
So, you know, uh, I hope like, this video is quite a bit shorter. So, you know, I won't wait another like three days before doing another one of these. I'll probably do another one tomorrow then. Um, I feel like tomorrow I should do teaching how to do a sprite. Um, not sprite sheets. Well, kind of sprite sheets, but I mean uh, tile sheets for the making making the world, I guess. Um, so I'll show you that next video so that we can actually have like somewhere for our player to be rather than in this blue empty space. Um, but yeah, I hope this video helped and I hope you're able to now get your character set up and running so it's like he's alive almost. Um, obviously feel free to just try and do whatever you want in your own game like before you don't have to wait for me to actually do something. Um, obviously we'll get into combat within probably two or three videos I'd say because we want to set up the other basic things first. We've already got full character movement working. Um, obviously there are other additions I can add like for example in Wizard of Legend if you're running for more than like a second or two you gain like a kind of speed boost and you go into running mode and obviously I don't have a running animation but I could just uh, increase the uh, speed of the character like that'll be enough they'll still be doing the same animation um, obviously as I keep saying like I'm trying to make a functional game not a, not a good looking game like it's not gonna look good I can't do pixel art and I'll probably just find uh, you know free to use images off like Google just to use for this uh, for this project um, yeah I, I make my own 3d models if I do stuff but I cannot do sprite art <laughs> not not at all but anyway so uh, if you want to see more of these and you want to keep the uh, series going obviously drop a like and subscribe would help me show would show support so I can uh, keep making these videos and obviously we have a discord channel which uh, is in the description you can join and discuss anything about this or any of my other videos uh, we're uh, slowly getting more and more people and we keep having discussions on different things and helping each other out so it's a nice community to be in if you want to learn and help others um, but yeah so I don't think I've got anything more else to say so thanks for watching and goodbye